Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be chosen ones. They are watching, spying, and being sneaky. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, chosen ones, they are watching, spying, and being sneaky. Okay? I need y'all to understand something, family. You got to be watchful of those who are trying to get your information. Yes, sir. You got to be watchful of those who are trying to see what you got going on. And you have to be mindful of those who are coming into your circle for no apparent reason. All right? I'm talking about those coworkers. Yes, sir. I'm talking about them people who you think your friend. Okay? And I'm talking about those family members. All right? I need y'all to tune in and understand what I'm saying, family. They are being sneaky. They watching you. And they are spying, y'all. And so this video is clarification and confirmation of what's going on in your life. All right. Now, with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get directly into this video. But before we do so, y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get into it, Chosen Wars. So, number one, the first reason or the first sign I would say they are watching, spying, and being sneaky is going to be this, family. They are paying attention to your every move. Okay? Understand something, Chosen Wars. Number one, they are paying attention to your every move. Okay, if you go to the movies, they watching you. You go out to eat, they watching you. Okay, you get married, you get in a relationship, they are watching you. They are paying attention to your every move. And y'all, listen, it's not even just the, uh, the small moves, right, or the big moves, right? It's the small moves as well. Okay, maybe you just got your car detailed, right? Maybe you're trying to do something, you know, with your family or you're trying to, you know, grow your hair. Whatever the case is, y'all, they watching small moves and big moves. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I see you watching. <clears throat> yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I see you watching. Bruno, what are you saying right now? See, there are people with their binoculars, they glasses, they magnifying glasses, <laughs> trying to see exactly what you are doing. Rena, why do you wanna watch me? See, it's something specific about you that they want, y'all. It is something unique about you that they need, family. I'm telling you, it is something about you, okay, that is so different that makes people crave it. All right. It makes people crave it. And so what I'm simply saying, y'all, is that they are paying attention to every single move you make. All right. And so a lot of times what people don't understand is they really want to be you. OK, they really want to be you. They want to be where you are, just like Michael Jackson said, y'all. All right. They want to be in the same position you are in. They want to make the same amount of money you are making. They want to be, you know, in the same neighborhood you stand in. OK, they want the same benefits you have. They want it. Somebody drop in the comments and say you can't have it. All right. I'm serious, chosen ones. Somebody drop in the comments and say you can't have it. They are paying attention to your every move. OK, which leads me to number two, y'all. OK, that's going to be this right here, y'all. They notice your mistakes and mishaps. All right. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they notice your mistakes and they notice your mishaps, okay? And so this right here, y'all, is very notorious, you know, when it comes to anything that is competitive, right? So when I was, you know, playing football in high school, right, I was playing running back. As I told y'all, I was the running back, you know, for my team, okay? And um, I played JV. You know, I really played very rarely on varsity. I got in a few times, but it wasn't that I sucked. It was just so many people who were good, right, that, you know, the spots was pretty much filled. And if you wasn't just I catching then hey man hey join the other people that's on the bench who are good as well right but sticking to it y'all i started on jv right i did and so what happened was y'all uh i noticed how it was other people who was trying you know to take my position okay i'm talking about the younger guys y'all they coming in hungry see let me bookmark this real quick Understand something, y'all. It's always somebody that's coming up under you who is trying to take your position. 
I'm just being honest, y'all. It's always somebody who's sitting back from afar, all right? They're trying to take your position. Why? Because they want to be exactly where you are. Why? Because they want to be exactly who you are. Why? Because they want the shine, the prestige, okay, the fame, the success that you have, right? And so I didn't necessarily understand that, you know, listen, I don't care what grade you in, okay? I don't care how old you are. I don't care how long you've been playing football. I don't care. It's some hungry guys out here who are ready to take your position. Well, y'all, I'm a victim of this. I was, uh, my position was taken by a guy uh, uh, by the name of Tommy Spencer, right? And I actually like T, y'all. You know, T was a cool, a cool guy, right? But sticking to the point, uh, T took my spot, y'all. I think he took my spot for about two, three games or whatever the case is. However, the point was, y'all, is this right here. Uh, that made the coaches, that made, you know, people who were trying to take my spot notice my uh, mistakes and my mishaps. So anytime I miss the ball, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make sure I don't miss the ball. Anytime I fumble, oh, I'm going to make sure I don't fumble. And listen, y'all, I've said this before as well. One of the most important things in the world to do is, is watch what not to do instead of watch so you can do, right? This, this is why, y'all, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason, okay? This is why you lead with your ears, all right? And then follow with your mouth. And so with that being said, pause on that, right? But understand what I'm saying, y'all, okay? People are going to notice your mistakes and your mishaps, all right? So maybe you on your job. Okay, maybe you had a, a long night last night. Maybe you was tired. Whatever the case is, y'all, they trying to catch you slipping. Somebody drop in the comments and say, you won't catch me slipping. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, you won't catch me slipping. See, they are trying to catch you slipping. All right? Trying to catch you falling. Trying to catch you while you're down. Oh, yeah, y'all, they trying to catch you. Okay? And so with that being said, the little small mistake that you make, the little small mishap that you have, they own it. They own it, all right? Going back to it, y'all. Thomas Spencer took my spot. I'm just being honest, y'all. He took my spot. But with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, okay? Number three, y'all, again, the signs of how you know they are watching, spying, and being sneaky, okay? Number three, they are subconsciously mimicking you, all right? Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they are subconsciously mimicking you, okay? And so we see this all the time on social media, yep. We see this all the time, you know, within uh, our families. We see this all the time out here in just society. You see it on the job. You see it at school. It is this one word called a trend, right? It is this one word called a trend. Okay, y'all seen the crate challenge, all right? Y'all seen the mannequin challenge, okay? The uh, water slide challenge. I mean, it's done been the pineapple challenge, the watermelon challenge. It has been so many challenges, y'all. Not because somebody said, you know what? I want to be creative. I want to be different, right? I, I want to start something new, right? No, it's because everybody said, ooh, I want to do that. And so what happened was, y'all, people are consciously uh, mimicking others and they are subconsciously mimicking others. Rena, what are you saying right now? See, some people are doing it and don't even know they're doing it. That's the shocker, y'all. That's the shocker. Some people are doing it and don't even know they are doing it. And so that's the same thing with you. Some people are copying you right and they don't even know that they are copying you you may wear a collar shirt they wearing the collar shirt okay you may bring your own lunch to work now they want to start bringing their own lunch to work okay you probably use a certain lingo now they want to start using the same lingo do y'all see the pot the pattern of what i'm saying y'all do y'all see the pattern, all right? It's like they are copying literally your every step and your every move. Your every step and your every move. Brina, what are you saying right now? Understand something, y'all. They are subconsciously mimicking you. Subconsciously, all right? No matter how much they tell themselves, no, I ain't going to do it how Reno do it. Nope, I ain't going to do it how Keisha do it. Nope, I ain't doing it like that. And the next thing you know, y'all, you see them coming to work looking just like you, acting just like you. Are y'all following what I'm saying, y'all? Okay? Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Reno. All right? Moving on to the next one, family. It's going to be this, y'all. Number four, okay? This video was sponsored by Aura.com. Yes, sir. Now, listen, family. 
Have you ever noticed how easily you can be found on Google? Yes, sir. Or maybe you typed the information in yourself and seen it with your own eyes. I need y'all to understand something. That same information is being sold by data brokers to spammers, scammers, and those who are targeting you. Yes, sir. And chosen ones, y'all know how much we are being targeted. Y'all know this. Listen, family, this right here is your opportunity to save yourself from cybersecurity hackers, people who are trying to steal from you and take from you. Y'all make sure y'all try out that 14-day free trial. Y'all try out the 14-day free trial, y'all. Y'all can hit the link inside this video as well as the one that's in the description. Let's get back to the video. Uh, they know personal information about you. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they know personal information about you. Now, this right here is more so geared towards the sneaky portion of this video, y'all. All right? See, when people are getting information, yeah, people are going through phones. Yeah, y'all, people are starting to get your information off social media. They watching you from afar. They trying to talk to people about you, talk to mutual friends, speak to people who knew you, okay? Notice I said, who knew you. See, you ain't even in contact with those people who they trying to talk to. You not even in contact with those individuals no more. Why? You done moved on. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I done moved on. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I done moved on, okay? See, people are being sneaky about how they're trying to get your information, all right? I'll never forget y'all at school. Once again, a lot of stuff like this happened at school, right? And I hate to say it, y'all, but these jobs are only nothing but schools. That's all it is, y'all. It's an adult school, right? So, anyway, y'all, you know, it was this rumor being spread, you know, uh, about this girl, y'all. I think she was like a freshman year there. So, you know, when you're young, you're doing things that, you know, you're not really uh, supposed to be doing, right? Because you're trying to fit in. Peer pressure. You're trying to be like everybody else, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Well, here's the thing, y'all. You know, she was doing certain things that was ruining her reputation. And I always tell y'all, a reputation is better than silver and gold, right? So, she was doing things that was ruining her reputation okay and so the information and the things that people was getting about her it came from those individuals right who she thought was her friend okay who she thought was their friend or her friends right Rena what are you saying right now they was being sneaky around her okay holding things back all right spreading certain rumors some of the things that she did was true and some of the things that they uh said they exaggerated the truth and so this happens a lot y'all on jobs on at schools okay where there are a lot of individuals and i hate to say it y'all i hate to say it but family can be just as conniving okay people who are you know within the uh, uh, uh co-worker group can be just as conniving of course schools okay kids can be cruel i mean uh, just human beings can be cruel y'all human beings if y'all want to be honest but sticking to the point y'all is this right here when it came to that girl you know she thought she had some real ones around her she thought she had some real friends okay but nope they started spreading all the information, telling what she was doing and who she was doing it with. All right? Brenda, what are you saying right now? See, certain people started getting information on her, and now they know her personal business. They know her personal business. And this is why I say, y'all, you have to be mindful of who you tell your business to. You have to be mindful, y'all, of who you give, you know, the inside scoop to. Because here's the thing, y'all. A lot of times, you know, uh, we get vulnerable. We are human beings, y'all. We get vulnerable. We feel emotions. We feel, you know, uh, love sometimes. Sometimes we don't. We feel alone, okay? Um, I know somebody, you know, daughter who just killed herself, okay, for something very similar to this, all right? Feeling alone, feeling unloved, all right? And she just killed herself. Bruno, what are you saying right now? You know, you have to be mindful, y'all, of who you have around you, all right? Because that information, once it get out, y'all, it is out. It is out, y'all. And so sticking to the point, you know, um, people are being sneaky right now, being very sneaky, very conniving. Okay, make sense of what I'm saying, y'all. Make sense, but the whole point, y'all. I was about to make a, a whole nother angle, but the whole point, y'all, is that they are watching, spying, and being sneaky. 
Simple as that, y'all, okay? They know personal information about you, and this is how you know. And so the, the, the question is, is how did you get this information? Who did you talk to? Where did you go, okay? How did you know I would be here? Right. These are questions that you have to ask yourself. But sticking to the point, y'all, uh, they are watching, spying and being sneaky. So get into the next one, y'all, which is the last one. That is going to be number five, y'all. OK. And that is they get frustrated with your awareness. OK. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Number five, they get frustrated with your awareness, y'all. OK. And so a person who don't want you to know what they have going on. It's going to make them mad, y'all. They're going to get pissed, okay? They will be pissed. Why? Because they don't want you to know that uh, they are watching you. They don't want you to know that, you know, uh, they are doing sneaky and conniving things behind your back. They don't want you to know. They want you to be caught by surprise. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm not surprised. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, I'm not surprised, all right? Again, y'all, this is like, you know, a person who is cheating, right? And then the other partner is paying attention to all the signs, okay? Being protective with your phone. You know, late night calls, late night texts. You're doing this, you're saying that. Just the whole nine, right? Well, when this person begins to show that, hey, I see what you got going on, what's going on? When you begin to ask questions, that's going to make the other person like, hey, Leave me alone. Stop asking me this, okay? Now, let me make this clear, y'all. You know, it is a such thing as being insecure. I understand that, and that can be frustrating. But outside of insecurities, okay, when a person is just on plain sight BS, when a person is in plain sight doing the wrong things, when a person is plain sight playing in your face, okay, it's going to cause you to ask certain questions. Like, hey, man, what's up with this? Hey, man, why are you doing that? Okay, hey, I see you. Don't you know I can see you? Okay, and that's going to cause them to get frustrated. Why? Because of your awareness. Okay, when you are aware of the BS, when you are aware of the conniving, when you are aware of the betrayal, when you are aware. Okay, going back to my uh, ex-marriage, y'all, uh, when I became aware, right? Because for a long time, you know, I allowed myself to... Uh, kind of get betrayed right i allowed myself you know or i allowed certain things because i just was blind to it i was allowing certain things because i trusted her so much right and so with that being said once i opened up my eyes my awareness made her get frustrated yeah my awareness made her frustrated like she was pissed mad okay why you want to know this why you want to know that just live it for no reason oh yeah y'all and so that's what I'm saying. The same thing with yourself. Um, your awareness will make them frustrated. Why? Because they know that they are being sneaky. They know that they are watching and they know that they are spying on you. All right. Somebody drop in the comments and say makes sense. But let's go ahead and do a recap, y'all, and then we'll conclude this video. So uh, number one, y'all, the first sign is they are paying attention to your every move. OK, they're trying to see how to move around you. They're trying to see See what not to do all right uh number two they notice your mistakes and mishaps which means y'all they are trying to take your spot okay they are trying to do something that you know you don't approve of okay they're coming for your position all different aspects y'all number three they are subconsciously mimicking you okay sometimes y'all a person can copy you and don't even know that they are copying you all right if you listen to certain songs certain music you have peeped the game like you have like man when, when have i started saying game twin right it's because of the type of music you've been listening to um uh, number four they know personal information about you oh yeah y'all they've been talking to somebody okay they've been stalking you they have been doing something y'all to where now they have found out personal information things that you probably didn't want to get out and some things have been made up you know things about you right and then number five y'all is they get frustrated with your awareness okay like i said in my ex marriage y'all when i began to open up my eyes and i started understanding that hold on you ain't the angel I thought you was. And I began to get aware. That makes them frustrated. Why? Because they can't run game on you, all right? And so with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and conclude this video. But if you would like to purchase any one of my books, enroll into my social influence course, or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can do so by clicking the link inside my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace.
What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self published author understand what i'm saying y'all if you want to leverage your expertise okay you gotta publish your book but not only that if you want to get popping and build your community you gotta build up your social media platform and so i put that all in one course okay and so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio all right and drop in the comments social influence if you want to build up your social influence click that link in the bio and we're gonna get you popping keep a rich mentality